Welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. So, all we have left to do, really, in terms of the story, take down Cerberus, take down the Reapers. But before that, we, have, we gotta have some fun. Uh, things are about to get pretty serious, so let's start with some uh, with some fun. Uh, do you see them in the blackness of the cosmos? But what if the ghosts are restless? What then? I imagine you have many. Need to requisition more tox filters. Ow. Head hurts. Why do people do this for fun? And what happened to my spell checker? Tally. <laughs> Alright, so. Yam. I am what I am and that's all that I am. So, yep, yeah, first things first, uh, collect whatever is left to collect in the uh, galaxy. Alliance Marine Recon Unit. Yeah, there's not too uh, not too much left to pick up. Uh, I've just about scanned everything. So, I think I've got a couple more uh, wreckages to pick up in. Uh, couple of systems that I just left over just as a uh, I found something as a last thing to pick up Jeez. sun made that really tough to see This one doesn't seem familiar. Noressa is an unremarkable methane ammonia ice giant with a small family of icy moons. It is likely that the Kurtasi system had additional worlds earlier in its history, but these have been swallowed by the aging giant star. Kurtasi is an elderly, metal poor population to star, broadly similar to Arc Forest. Oh no, the star is. The star is hungry and it eats planets. Lions Frigate Trafalgar. Back to the DACA system. Can never have enough DACA. Signal confirmed. Ragia. Research data, all right. Nice enough. And just a quick look, just to make sure that none of the planets here have any updates in uh, any of their descriptions. Looking doubtful, but. Verge, nothing there. Shadow C. Can't go to this cluster. 
I feel like there's not going to be anything in the shadows. Do you Yara, okay. This is where I just was, wasn't it? Yes, this is where I just came from. Duh. Alright, something new in Kite's Nest, so let's go pick that up. System. I assume that this opened up uh, through Leviathan, would be uh, my assumption here. Obviously, I could be wrong about that. I found something. Caver Station. Alliance Intelligence reports that there was once a sizable military space station trailing Kiba that was tasked with arming and refueling ships to repel pirates, slave revolts, and foreign invasion. The Reapers wasted little time in destroying it during their conquest of Kamala. The hydrogen helium gas giant Heba has an unstable orbit, which over time has led to it clearing the space around it of asteroids and protoplanetary material. As a result, its rings are thick and quite visible. I do feel like they uh, sort of made a little bit of a misjudgment in how open uh, transparent this, uh, the description boxes are, uh, they made a slight misjudgment whenever it comes to the ring planets. Because, like, these rings, um, like, especially for some of the ones that are sort of longer descriptions, the rings end up, uh, making it harder to read some of them. Cholus is a rock planet wreathed in a haze of carbon dioxide and xenon. It was discovered by Batarian astronomers during the last century and first visited in the 2150s by hegemony, hegemony survey ships. A small number of colonists lived in aerostat habitats above its oppressive cloud layer, harvesting carbon dioxide. No habitats can be detected now. It is likely the Reapers eliminated them or the colonists submerged into the scorching atmosphere in an attempt to hide. Governor Grothan Hasmus. Okay. Kamala is a relatively small but ezo rich garden world recently colonized by the Batarians. In an unusually open gesture, the Batarians allowed immigration of free citizens of other species, so long as they came from independent colony planets such as those in the Traverse and Terminus and retained non-citizen status during their stay. These strictures were small obstacles compared to the economic lure of Ezo and soon the planet boasted spaceports and refineries that considerably enriched the hegemony. The planet enjoyed relative peace and prosperity, with major lifestyle inconvenience being freshwater shortages due to a dry climate. The Reaper invasion has turned Kamala's cities from affluent oases into a living nightmare. Uh, Alliance intelligence suggests that early in the Reaper invasion, a high percentage of the planet's population was captured and converted to husk creatures for future offensives. The processing camps still run night and day, and the troop transports fly legions of cannibals out every hour. For this reason, Alliance Command has put Kamala squarely in its sights for military strikes. Colony Finna 2154, population 2,875,000, capital Ujon. Romlot is a small rock planet with a thin atmosphere of hydrogen and ethane. During the rush to exploit Kamala for Ezo and other minerals, Romlot supported a small but steadily growing population. Since the system was bereft of a significant asteroid belt, Romlot became the go-to location for second-tier miners looking for work. Its tin and gold industry was modestly profitable before the Reaper attack. Today, it is a wasteland scarred by the craters of kinetic impact weapons. And Maklan is the outermost planet of the Intra system, a ball of rock and ice with a methane-argon atmosphere. Like Heba, it has an unstable orbit, but where Heba is believed to have formed closer to the star and gradually moved outward, Maklan is believed to have formed further from Intra and moved inward. 
Far in the future, Macklin may become a satellite of its gas giant neighbor. It's interesting how many, uh, so this is where uh, we will be going to finish the game. Or to start the end game, so. Or said Nebula is where the elusive man's been hiding out all this time. So we'll be going there relatively soon. But not yet. Before going that we have uh, before going there we have some much more important things to get to do. I saved I like I saved that uh, just in case I needed it uh, later on, but clearly never did. Okay, yeah. Okay. There you go. Ah, there's a new system to check. Damn it. This isn't a new system. Bless us. Damn it. All right, fine, whatever. I screwed up. Wasted all that fuel. Not that I need fuel anymore. And I got it refilled already. So that will be the end of that. One last quick look around just to make sure, but... Interestingly, uh, the uh, systems... system for Rannoch, uh, the far... What was it? The far place and uh, the Perseus Vale uh, are no longer on the, uh, the map. Yeah. So I'm done. I am done with the planet. I suppose before hitting the Citadel, Commander Shepard. let's check out those last couple things I picked up. Because why not? There's uh, virtually no more uh, war assets to pick up. Uh, there will be one. I, I can think of one more war asset that we'll uh, end up picking up. Not, I don't remember if there's any more after that. Or any more beyond that. The governor of the Batarian colony Kamala was outspoken in the early hours of the Reaper assault, blaming the Alliance for the destruction of Batarian convoys that were, in fact, destroyed by the Reapers. Now liberated from his world, the governor has undergone a dramatic conversion. His daily extranet videos rally his formerly conservative, xenophobic subjects to embrace the Citadel species as brothers and sisters in arms. Unlike many Batarian politicians, he also avoids micromanaging military affairs, content with inspirational tasks and the logistical nightmare of providing urgently needed relief to Batarian refugees. Yeah, good, good on him.
This is probably the Alliance Marine Reconnaissance Unit flies recon drones and occasionally puts live recon teams into play. AMRU works hard to ensure information is up to date, using VIs to disseminate intel as quickly as possible. I guess that's the one I just picked up. The Trafalgar was in the middle of an engine overhaul when a Cerberus flotilla engaged it in a firefight. Barely escaping on auxiliary power, its crew later finished upgrading the ship in record time after meeting Alliance forces. Uh, the only reason the alien assets are higher than uh, Alliance is because of the uh, Leviathan. Otherwise, uh, Alliance war assets are generally going to be highest. But alien... The Leviathan team uh, surpasses that. And then, yeah, Krogan is uh, third highest. And Quarians is fourth. So... Yeah, still. Military strength pretty much as high as it can get. Um, just about. You can get it a... If you're doing, like, the absolute perfect uh, run, you can get it a little bit higher than that. I'm not sure what the absolute highest total military strength gets to, uh, but really not much higher than that. And still, chances of success are even. So. Even really is as high as uh, it gets. Commander Shepard. All right. So. Before, before the end game, before going off to possible death, a little bit of rest and relaxation. There's a lot of conversations to uh, eavesdrop on uh, down here. I have all the money I could ever possibly want. So... I will go uh, exploring the Silver Sun Strip uh, in a bit. First, all right. Standard betting, simple betting. Well, that looks better. Bathroom, standard, polished, deluxe. Standard design that never goes out of style. A basic design accented with stainless steel for a sleek and polished look. This vanity's curved design combines a unique look with ample counter space. Let's try that one for now. Standard walnut cabinetry with white countertops for a classic look. Cherry red cabinetry and bright white countertops bring life and color to the kitchen. Oak cabinetry. Vibrant. 
Standard sofa. Cozy sofa. Ooh, I like that one. Dark chocolate couch. Posh sofa. I like the cozy sofa. Standard armchair. Basic recliner. Sure, go with that one. Artistic shelving. Sure, why not? All right. So there's the recliners. There's my pretty new kitchen. I think those couches uh, stay the same, actually. I believe the couch that I changed is the one up here. I don't know. So, yeah, I just figured I'd, uh... Make a few changes. Why not? I've got the money. I am currently made of money. I mean, not really. 174,000 credits. Which is not bad at all. Alright, now I can invite people over. Start with Liara. This is a variation on Vigil's theme. you could play actually this is the only song i know <laughs> why is that there was always something more important to do a ruin to uncover intel to gather a commander to save ha <laughs> you can sit still long enough <laughs> could you is there something special about this song <sighs> on one of my first digs a storm swept in we were trapped inside I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. She taught me to play this song while we waited. It's it a good is song. a lovely song. Thank you, Shepard. I've always loved that song. <laughs> Says everyone who plays Mass Effect. Thanks, Glyph. Shepard, I... What are you doing? Making sure you don't run off to something more important. I can't imagine what that would be. We should do this more often. Yes, well, maybe after. Every day after. Shepard. Aww. 
sadly, after Liara leaves, we won't be able to actually do this, uh, have Glyph play that anymore. This place is nice. Shall I transfer over your reports so that you might work here? Yes, thank you, Glyph. Glyph, can you copy that song to my personal files on the Normandy? Certainly, Dr. Tassoni. Shepard. Shepard. Sorry, just listening to the music. It's very pretty. It's a lovely work reworking of the song. Max Arena. Arya Talok apparently likes to blow off some steam here. Barla Vaughn is the second highest scorer. Oh, yeah. Al Jelani on the board. Like joyless turd. you can actually I don't know if you can actually win this stop being creepy playing until I get a victory. any pattern to it. Shepard. 
Shepard. Welcome to Silver Sun Strip. The Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board has declared Silver Sun Strip a top Citadel attraction. It is known for its wide variety of entertainment facilities and vibrant nightlife. Any good restaurants? The Ryusei Sushi Restaurant is often cited as a local favorite. Unfortunately, mm. it is currently undergoing repairs due to extensive water damage and miscellaneous destruction. Oh, right. What else is in the area? Silver Sun Strip is a popular destination with both tourists and longtime residents of the Citadel. Its most well known attraction is the Silver Coast, a high end casino and entertainment facility. That's it. Thanks. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. So I'm deployed to a hotspot on Novaria. Nice. My usual squad's on medical, so I'm stuck with any N7s who are nearby. I just wanted a nice, smooth mission. You know, professional. Ended up a damn train wreck. We're fighting for the fate of the galaxy. You'd think we could handle one mission as a coherent fighting unit. Squad, name good. Random group, never good. Uh, so, yeah. There is a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, references to multiplayer in this uh, right here. Perfect spot. Long sight lines, good cover, no way to get flanked. We could have bunkered up, set up kill zones, used a drone or a decoy to lure Reaper forces into position. And where is everyone else? Standing at the top of a ramp. <laughs> ramp bag. Enemies all around. Yes, exactly. And no cover. It didn't help that we had some brutal side objectives, but even then, we had to disable these Reaper indoctrination devices, and this crazy ex servers Vanguard guy insists on doing it. He's running all over the place getting killed, and I'm yelling at him, let me do it, I can cloak. <sighs> Infiltrate are good for devices. Or engineer with drone or decoy. Or me, because me don't die. <laughs> yes, thank you. Later, that same ex server's vanguard picks up a backpack. Gets halfway back to the pickup zone, loses his shields. So what does he do? He charges. <sighs> no charge. Charge, big backpack drop. Yes, everyone knows that. So if you're gonna charge or cloak or something, don't pick up the backpack. And you should have seen him when we were supposed to bunker down and upload some intel. Vanguard charge away. Upload go slow. Bang for team. Yeah, so these are complaints that people have about uh, playing in uh, the multiplayer. Like about some of the people that you get sidled with in the uh, multiplayer. Uh, so can we expect more El Cor Shakespeare from you? Actually, I'm mounting a production of Macbeth with a new Krogan talent as the lead. He brings a raw brutality to the stage that emphasizes the ruthless actions of his character. Sounds like inspired casting. I like to think I have an eye for talent. Francis Kit, Elcor Hamlet. Arena. Really defense. Uh, target enemies as they appear on the screen. Keep launching allied ships on a road, get them safely to the mass relay to maintain a score multiplier and receive points. Only three missiles can be active at one time. Destroy your enemies before they damage the planet. If your planet takes too much damage, the game is over. Earn a prize for achieving a high score. RT to launch a missile, LT to send out a ship. Okay. Give it a try. Thank you. 
approaching. I made it onto the board. Uh, that's all I'm going to do with that. Shattered Ezo. So this one is actually a uh, reference. Um, I mean, it's Rock'em Sock'em Robot. But additionally, uh, Bioware's very first game that they ever made was called Shattered Steel. So when they go with Shattered Ezo, that is a reference to that. Charge up a punch to break through blocks. Jab to interrupt when an opponent is charging up. Uh, RT to punch. Hold RT and then release. Press LT to block. So let's give it a try. I'm actually not doing that great. I'm getting a little bit of health back each turn. Yeah, this is just Rock'em Sock'em Robots, nice but fancy. Jeez, that guy wouldn't die! Eh, I'm on the board. Towers of Hanoi? I don't think so. <laughs> that as well is a little bit of uh, self-aware humor from uh, I think this one's broken. from South Park uh, or from Bioware, uh, because again, uh, Towers of Hanoi is something that is pretty common in uh, Bioware games. They love they love Towers of Hanoi puzzles. Uh, we saw you saw one in the first game. Being Pijax and Macbeth, unless they live 
lived in Burnham Wood. Did Pijax come to Dunsany? <laughs> I added the Pijax in. He will view events with an animal innocence uncorrupted by ambition. I can't believe no one's thought of that before. It's brilliant. How did you get your lead actor to work with five Pijacks? Oh, he came round once I explained Pijacks' importance to the production. They'll work marvelously together. Once the Pijacks stop scaling the set pieces and making nests out of the props. Oh, my. Not yep. to worry, productions always appear disastrous until just before the curtain rises. Oh, of course. It's going to be an amazing show. I won't lie. Can we expect more El yeah. uh, Anyway, so yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Um, Head Towers of Panaway. Uh, so that's the, the puzzle where you've got like sort of three columns and you have to get all the you have to get a bunch of segments from one column uh, over to another but you can't like have the segments so like you have to go like top to bottom or bottom to top so yeah you can't have one segment sort of slide oh slide down past another so move this from column a to column b move this from column b to column a move this from columns or move this from column a to column b move this from column a to column c move this from column b to column c move this from column a to column b move this from column like that. One of those, those puzzles. They're honestly kind of a pain. And Silver Sun Casino. Come on in. Might be your lucky So yeah, back to this place. So who's we can the come here. Person you keep going on about? What? You never heard of Mighty I don't think there's really uh, a whole lot to do around here. I mean, you can gamble. Obviously, there's uh, plenty of gambling. Varen Racing. Yep. I know, right? Why do they even bother equipping us with barriers against those guys? Hey, at least you can get your barriers back up if you charge someone. Oh, yes! Fennec, hit the comm. Tiana, distract the bouncer. Urch, you take the vault. Avoid the thermal sensors. They trigger the lockdown. You'll hit motion sensors, and that'll alert security. Verk, steal a uniform. You go in as security, fake the arrest. <laughs> Whoops, I seem to have the wrong casino. Kasumi? <sighs> Take a walk, guys. I can explain. <laughs> yeah, you're here to rob a casino. That's your explanation. I believe I hired you because you were the best damn thief in the galaxy. Sweet talker. Are you hard up for credits, or is this just to stay in practice? People who can't get to the Citadel are having a rough time out there. This place has more money than it knows what to do with. It can help those refugees survive. Plus, it's fun. <laughs> and it's not like the owner can spend it if the Reapers win. So, you're robbing the rich to help the poor? I'm doing what I do. Raiding Cerberus bases and infiltrating Reaper-held locations is fun. But I'm a thief. Stealing? It's who I am. Without it, I... By the way, are you gonna call security? Of course not! This is who she... Like she said, this is who she is. Just don't get caught, okay? Hey, come on. I never get caught. Come on, guys. Show's on. Excuse me, is there a problem? Nope. 
No problem at all. Hmm. I totally forgot that that was how that uh, encounter starts. Uh, so yeah, now I'm over by the roulette right, wheels. So yeah, I think uh, I never played the uh, multiplayer. I don't. I'm not well versed in the multiplayer. I suspect kicking is probably just a uh, a drill melee attack. Uh, and uh, most likely, I would imagine that people who play drill uh, classes in the multiplayer probably just use kicking as sort of a celebration thing um just for fun i do know that people who played krogan would often like just at least the drill adepts read things so you can hit them with a warp headbutt each other the humans just keep throwing out singularities but you know if you say anything you were the bad guy i think the drill stole my grenades goddess you can't be serious Yeah, so like I said, there's a lot of stuff that is just uh, based on multiplayer complaints. Yeah, there was a, uh, one of the, one of the late classes introduced, uh, I guess, had that, uh... Hey, how's Shoreleaf treating oh. you? Good. The break was nice. We've been fighting recently. I guess must have been able to throw the walls. Echoes across Citadel space and beyond. How could you possibly not know? I don't know, maybe because he's not ruling now. That is a meaningless detail. Patriarch's story transcends time. Won't be here very often. It wounds my very soul that you insist upon ignoring such an illustrious figure as Patriarch. Truly, it does. Is he still going on about Patriarch? That has helped me, yes. You should have run when you had the chance. I mean, Patriarch was pretty cool. I find your lack of respect for the exalted Patriarch very disturbing. <laughs> so who's this Patriarch person you keep going on about? What? You never heard of Mighty Patriarch? All right, back to that. As always, you can play Quasar. And I guess that's all the conversations to eavesdrop on, at least on this floor. Uh, if Ashley is the Vermeer survivor, I uh, was like, yeah. If Ashley's uh, the Vermeer survivor, then you'll meet her here for a drinking contest. 
that then turns into just beating up some uh, some jerks. It is not a good scene, to be honest. What can I get for you? Liquors, ale, spirits, you name it, I got it. You like the music? How can I help you? I hey there. The Let's dance. Let's see what I got. May as well. Best bar on the Citadel. How's it going? All right. So let's chat. Let's hang with Garrus. Another note: If you romance Garrus, then you will actually uh, end up doing a uh, a tango with him, dancing a tango with him, somehow. That lady was doing the... And hey, female Turian. Shepard. So what do Turians usually do with their time off? Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. <laughs> you know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun shop? I was thinking a date. Excuse me. I saw you checking out my friend here. I thought you two should meet. Wingman. Shepherd the wingwoman. Right. So, um, hmm. Hello. And, hmm. Yeah, he is so cool and smooth. Tell her she looks nice. You seem like a nice person. Maybe a little quiet, introspective, but decent overall. Oh, uh, thank you. I think. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work. Try small talk. Come here often. I imagine anyone who does is probably an alcoholic. <laughs> what? Actually, I do. I work at the Turian Embassy. Come here to unwind. Uh. Yeah. Well, listen. I've got this thing I forgot I had to do, and I should probably just go do it. Just stealing it right out of Guy's hand. Sorry. Let's start over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus, and I'd love to have a drink with you. That's some quality wing woman in. And am I wrong? That this bar must not be available yet. All right. Good evening. Not going to do Javix. Eh. Yeah, I'll do Javix in the next episode. I'm going to do one more hangout this episode. With the production of Francis Kids, all L4 Hamlet coming to a close, I am now available. Sincere request. If you know any good agents, please send them my way. Tragically, I am dead, Horatio. Wretched queen, and you. You that look pale and tremble at this chance, that are but news for audience to this act, had I but time. As this fell sergeant, death is strict in his arrest. Oh, I could tell you, but let it be. 
democratically, Horatio, I am dead. Thou livest. Report me and my cause a right to be unsatisfied. Mourns me. O oh God, Horatio, what a wounded mate. Things standing thus unknown. Shall I leave behind me? If thou didst ever hold me in thy heart, absent me from felicity a while, and in this harsh world draw thy breath in me to tell my story. Tragedy. Oh, I die, Horatio. The potent poison quite or crowds my spirit. I cannot live to hear the news from me. But I do prophesy collection lights on Fortnite. He has my dying voice. So tell him, with the occurrence more and less which have solicited me, heartbreaking me, the rest is silent. Bravo! With the production of Francis Gates all out for him. Bra freaking foe. Yeah, some players are uh, not particularly uh, smart. Liara is gone, and I don't think there's any more date opportunities with her, sadly. So yeah, you can launch the party now anytime. New dicks from Miranda. Shepard would love to see it. Can't be any worse than that pokey little captain's cabin on the Normandy. Invite me over sometime. I'm in the I'm in the area. Let's invite up James. Hey, Lola. Nice place. Might not look so nice after throwing that party you were talking about. You wouldn't trash my new apartment, would you, James? Me? No. Never. I might. <laughs> Inadvertently, by like getting shut up. Nice view. But this place, it's just so not what I'm used to. Which is? I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, real air. You miss it? Yeah. And the people. So, what's her name? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. I stopped fraternizing when I joined the military. The two don't seem to go well together. Uh. Hasn't stopped you from being a shameless flirt. Yeah, well, that's just my way. I don't mean anything by it, Lola. Uh-huh. I mean, I'm not making things awkward for you and Liara, right? <laughs> not even remotely. So did you really come up here to talk about my personal life? Oh, shit, right. I wanted to show you. There you go, ladies. What do you think? It's not a bad tattoo. It looks good. And you've earned it. Now the real work begins, right? Exactly. And I heard what you said before. And I'm in. Cien por ciento. Glad to hear it. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by, James. This is gonna be a perfect place for a fiesta. 
Hasta la vista, Shepard. Catch you later, Shep. Did you just break, James? What the hell? No way. You've been holding out on me. You have a punching bag in your own apartment. Oh, in your man. Sweet. You have a punching bag literally right next to your work bench on the Normandy. Come on, let me just use it for a bit. <clears throat> this is high quality stuff. <clears throat> Maybe I could, you know, <clears throat> come here for my workouts. <clears throat> what do you think? <clears throat> you gonna watch or are you gonna join in? <clears throat> All right, then. Yeah, are you ready for maybe the single most ridiculous, uh, stupidest, most pointless thing you can do in this entire trilogy? <clears throat> Should have saved before starting this, honestly. What have we here? You know, my record is 182. You think you can beat it? Maybe. Oh, this should be good. <clears throat> Two. <clears throat> you can actually use the sounds. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I haven't actually been counting. He'll let me know when I hit uh, 20, I think. Now, I know what you're thinking. Am I really going to sit here and do 182 pull-ups? You're about to find out. They change around uh, which ones you have to, like, they change around the patterns, so you can't just uh, sort of zone out. You actually have to pay attention. That's 20. 21. Five. Twenty six. Twenty seven. Twenty eight. Oh, this might take a while. Do <laughs> you think? Twenty nine. Thirty. One. Dude, I'm a sixth. I'm one sixth of the way there. Thirty-three. Gonna stop counting for a bit. Got a ways to go, my friend. <laughs> yeah, you actually have to do this a hundred and eighty-two times. It doesn't. It doesn't do shortcuts. Forty, nice. Thanks, James. <clears throat> like I said, it's stupid. It's ridiculous. It's pointless. There is. You don't get it. Even in the even in the Xbox 360 version, even in the original release, you didn't get any achievements for doing it. 
there is literally no reason to do it. To just sit here for like 15 minutes. Getting tired just watching you. Suppose maybe not 15, but for however long this takes, just tap in the right, left and right trigger buttons. Cerveza? Shove it. <laughs> okay then. You're not distracting me, James. That's 60. High five. <laughs> Funny. 61. Third of the way there. 62. <sighs> I think it's every 20 the pattern changes. I just love how utterly pointless this whole, whole thing is. It's so stupid. Nice form. Thanks. And yeah, it'll change the camera angle at which it uh, shows you doing the the pull-ups every uh, so often as well. She's starting to sound a little bit winded. And not even halfway there. Impressive. Thank you. But you ain't seen nothing yet, James. Relatively speaking. That's halfway to my record. So that's 91 then? Right. 92. 93. 94. Ninety-nine. One hundred. One hundred. That's impressive. Thanks. Just eighty-two to go. I'll get there. Hundred and two. Hundred and three. Air clipping through the bar. Hundred and four. 105. 105. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> May as well mention I'm recording this on August 1st. You know, most people would be happy with just a hundred. I'm not most people. Uh, so just to give you a uh, an indication of uh, how far ahead I am, like of how far out I'm recording this. Uh, 
the day I'm recording this, I posted is it episode 27 of uh, my Mass Effect 2 Let's Play. Uh, my little uh, date night with Liara after uh, after completing the Shadow Broker base. After completing the Shadow Broker mission. So yeah. This is going... I'm recording this uh, the same day I posted the video of uh, Shepard's date with Liara. Uh, Good stuff, Hefe. Thanks. Also, I lost track of... I lost count. Maybe you've been keeping count. Doesn't matter. I will get there. I will get to the 182. So, yeah. You're gonna be ripped, man. See, so, yeah, I, uh, sort of... While I was going through Mass Effect 2, I just sort of... Fell right back into my obsession with the uh, with the series, and uh, got way, way, way ahead on the recordings. See, so, yeah, I've still got like I think sixteen. I think I've still got 16 episodes of Mass Effect 2 to record, uh, to post as of uh, when I'm recording this. So. That's probably 140 right there, I'm guessing. I think usually when you do a Let's Play... You have, you know, a few episodes as a buffer. I'm going to have literally the entirety of Mass Effect 3 as a buffer. Before I start, by the time I start actually uh, posting it. Like, I'll finish recording Mass Effect 3 before I finish posting Mass Effect 2. So yeah, just a little bit carried away. That said, uh, I have been really enjoying playing Mass Effect 3. Uh, I only played it three times uh, back when I had it. I think it. you get this far. I wasn't able to play it for years. Um, just because I wasn't able to get... Uh, 360 hooked up to the internet uh, didn't have wasn't really able to get a good uh, wasn't able to get a good setup to have my uh, Xbox 360 connected to the internet because even though it's a single player game it still requires an internet connection to play friggin EA EA is just garbage like that uh, makes terrible decisions um, anyway so I basically wasn't able to play it from like 2013, 2014 maybe, until I got the Legendary Edition. So yeah, the original game I played probably at least 18 times. 18 to 18, 20 times I played the original, the, uh, the first game. Mass Effect 2. Easily a dozen times. Holy hell, you did it. I, I don't know what to say. How you feeling? Might need help pulling my armor on next time. I'm happy to help, Lola. <laughs> Don't tease a girl when she's winded. Okay, okay. 
Damn, you still got it. Don't let anybody tell you different. Don't worry, I won't. I love this. Yeah, 183 clubs. Just let me have some fun. You get to do this all the time. Just let me have some fun. Yeah, you actually end up doing uh, an extra one. So yeah, 183 pull-ups. Man, I think my fingers are a bit sore after all that. <laughs> so, yeah. Like I said, stupid, ridiculous, pointless, waste of time. But worth it. So worth it. The uh, the renegade option, the, the bottom option, uh, you say you could do another 183. And uh, James is skeptical. Um, so... Yeah, that is the first part of what will be a multi-part uh, series of videos about uh, just all the fun hangouts you do in uh, with the Citadel DLC. So, I'll see you next time for even more fun.